What up, what up, ICP, my beloved ICP family. I think today might be the most important video that I have ever done. Like, for real. This, you know, it's hard to get a lot of views when you're talking tech. If you're talking about the price going up to a trillion dollars, if you're talking about everything else going to zero, you get tons of views, all kinds of views. But I'm not in this thing for the views. I am in this because I've been in this field for 15 years and have had a lot of pain points, if you will. And when I stumbled over the internet computer, I was inspired. I was inspired like I had not been for a very long time. So I am back at that place and the inspiration just gets, it's, it's continuing to get more and more in terms of magnitude, especially now that I'm building on the platform. So I do not think you are ready for what I'm about to show you today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get right into it. And of course, my phone rings as soon as I get started, but I'm just going to get right into it. And uh, <laughs> you let me know what you think when this is all said and done. That's all I'm going to say about that. You let me know what you think. Now, of course, I'm on the local environment and I keep assuming that people know what that means. But that means that right now I'm not running on mainnet. I'm running locally. But everything you see can be instantly deployed on mainnet with very little effort. So whatever you see here, one day you're going to be able to go to that beloved uh, domain that I've purchased, you know, and it's going to be a wrap. You know, it's going to be I'm not getting all these serious texts from people. But uh, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. I'm so excited today about what I'm about to show you guys. All right. So. Anything look different right here? We have the regular setup that I've been doing for months. And then we have the AI generated project. So I'm going to start this thing off simple, right? So I'm going to say uh, coin nation project. And then uh, let's, let's think, uh, generate me me a bookkeeping application. I'm going to say basic, a basic bookkeeping application. Does this look familiar? What I am attempting to do on the ICP Studio platform, because if it does, you're, you're probably not going to be alone when you watch this. But let me go ahead and generate this guy. And this is probably a good indicator of how some other tools that shall remain nameless might take a little bit about, about around the same time to generate a fresh project. I'm going to take a peek at the logs and see what's going on over there. Yep, still churning along. It says the prompt length was about 44 characters. And we are establishing the Coin Nation project. Probably should have called it a book keeping project you're about to behold the power of icp now i will say this this is the most complicated prompt that i have attempted so not sure how this is going to turn out i may have to re-record this video with something more basic but uh the fact that you can do this is insane it's just utterly insane all right, it says finished, finished. So we have the Coin Nation project that just got stood up. And I should have called it a bookkeeping because that's what it is. So let's head over to the Coin Nation project. What we got, all right? Okay, we got bookkeeper as the actor. And uh, if you're intimidated by Motoko, guys, don't be intimidated by Motoko, especially with the stuff that I am dreaming up up here I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for the average Joe Blow. Okay, so we have our Motoko. Let me check on the front end. See what that's looking like. Okay, 
Nice. All right. So we have our front end files that we need. So right now, all of this is looking pretty good. I'm adding a couple of dependencies, which because I significantly over-engineered this thing, I probably don't even need to do that, but just in case. All right, so let's see. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I should have did this before I even went into the code editor, is I'm gonna hook the coordination project up to a front end and a back end canister. Okay, boom. Then I'm gonna come over here. And I'm gonna see if I can get this bad boy to see more base, blah, blah, blah. Get okay, types, that looks good. All right, let's see if we can get this. Hold on, let me check something. One thing. All right, yeah, that looks good. It's moment of truth, let's see. Let's see what happens. If it crash and burn, it's gonna crash and burn right now. But the fact that it's still going means that our fellow AI has correctly generated the backend code. So I'm not worried about this anymore. The fact that it's not crashed and burned yet. Because what I do is I send it through a compiler first to check on things. And if the compiler checks it, everything checks out. Then it goes off to do the actual deployment. So we're in good shape right now. Let me check on, okay, boom. And we could check it. We're going to check and see if the deployment went fired. Yes, we got add transaction, delete transaction, get all transaction, get balance, get transact. So we're good. Now we're going to head over to the front end and let's see what happens. I'm looking at upon inspection because I'm the one that built all of this. Upon inspection, it looks like it's pretty good. So I'm going to give this a whirl. Let's see what happens. If we get an error, it's going to be up here. So far, so good. And what I plan on doing, okay, something failed. <laughs> it's, it's the same, I gotta get this fixed. It's the same thing every time, but this is a good opportunity to show you how powerful this is. So I'm gonna create a CSS file and for anybody that doesn't know about web development, CSS is for styling, right? And let me just add something in here. And by the way, here, here's the thing. This is a very minor issue. Like when you think about what is the technology behind this, this if this is all that's failing, this is minor and can easily be rectified here. And now you're gonna laugh, but I literally just developed this AI piece this morning, literally started this morning. Um, I did not know it was gonna go as smooth as it went. But uh, what I'm gonna do since it, basically what happened is my front end co compilation failed to generate the styling for whatever reason. So I'm gonna fire up this AI assistant, say here are some files, right? Now when you, when this thing goes live, you're not gonna have to do this, but I'm glad, I'm glad that you're getting to see this process, right? so that you can see how insane this is. Okay, again, we're dealing with AI again. So what I'm saying, hey, take a look at my front end files. Something got goofed up along the way. Can you generate my styling so that this thing stops erroring out? Insanity, guys. <laughs> Insanity. So right now it's analyzing what I got going on and it's saying, let me make some styling appropriate for your given use case. Okay, so we have the styles. I'm gonna save this guy. Now let me ask you, have I written any code yet? Have I written any code yet? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I'm gonna give this another whirl, try to deploy. And let's see if anything else bombs out. Okay, so far so good. Oh, <laughs> I forget the front end moves a lot quicker than the back end. So are you ready to take a look at our bookkeeping software that we just generated on ICP Studio without writing a lick of code? Are you ready for that? I'm ready, let's check it out.
Okay. <clears throat> so we just generated a bookkeeping software from AI, and I just want to check and make sure that it's really interacting with the back end here. Get all transactions. Ladies and gentlemen, no code at all. No code. So obviously a little rough around the edges, but for from setting that up this morning, I'm I'm impressed from just setting that up this morning. And what we can do now is we can turn right back around. And if we feel like we have created some prompt magic, I mean the best thing since sliced bread, then we can head over here to the template management. We can create a new template, call it book keeping, right? I don't even need all that. We don't even need uh, all that underscore and all that. Let's, let's get away from that. Uh, project ID is that. And the template description, um, book keeping we'll pretend like it's smart contracts version 1.0 we don't have to put all that out i think that all looks good and let's say it's going to be free it's not going to cost us any icp set some licensing settings blah 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 and we're going to add it to the template management section right and now I'm going to publish it to the marketplace. So what are we doing? We are packaging the project that we just created and putting it in a form where we can monetize it now, right? So I'm going to head over to the template hub, make sure it got, it got uh, published. And now I'm going to pretend like I'm a whole nother user. I'm going to log out. And this could be a completely different individual who maybe they find this bookkeeping software interesting. So logging in as another user, heading over to the marketplace. Ooh, bookkeeping template. That's exactly what I need. Right. So I'm going to hit that guy and I'm going to, for some reason, the link I put for the image didn't work. So I got to look into that, but buy it for free. So there are going to be free apps on the marketplace. And once you buy it, it's yours. And now you can download it. Boom. Now it's yours. Right. And what that consists of are the, is the template details along with project, the actual code artifacts that you will use to bring into your environment. And every person who logs into ICP Studio, they get their own dedicated canister to protect their data, right? So when I just download it here, if I purchase that template, there's logic in there that's, that knows I have access, I have full rights to download these code artifacts. If somebody who didn't purchase it tried to do that, it's going to reject it. A fully decentralized marketplace. So now that we have the, uh, the template downloaded, we can do what? We can import the template. You get the pictures. ICP is going to melt faces when people realize what is possible on this network. And I'm telling you, I've been having a ball just getting used to building in this fashion for years. I've done it, you know, with enterprise Java development, enterprise uh, C-sharp development, full stack, uh, all kinds of different government organizations and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. But I can tell you firsthand, this has by far been the most fun that I have had developing. And what I'm going to do, as you can see, there was a little bit of um, issues with the prompt generating the styling, but it generated everything else to perfection. It generated TSX files. It generated the uh, now TSX. That's going to be your react files that are um, 
developed in the most modern way with type safety. And then you had your Motoko. Typically, it, it has very little issues with basic Motoko files that from, from what I'm seeing. But the beauty, I think, of what I'm, I'm putting together here is that even when you have an issue, you're not alone, right? You have your AI assistant in here that's going to help in place fix the issues. I don't like how this is sitting. I'm going to move this probably. I'm probably going to make this a tabbed setup down here where you have uh, the console and then you have an AI assistant. And from what I can gather with ICP Ninja right now is all the AI assistant does is just give you advice. But with what I've done right here, it's going to actually modify your code. So if you see an issue, you're going to modify that code. You, especially, guys, what, what I have in store, just, just stay tuned. That's, that, that's all I got to say. Stay tuned. This is just going to get better and better. And I appreciate your time. If you have any comments, questions, or concern, hit me up in the comment section. Coin Nation out here, Devin, and I appreciate your patience. I will eventually get back to more regular content, but right now the priority is building on the network.